In the latest version of Stitch Mastery, which is 3.2.0, we have added the capability to deactivate the software yourself. So previously, if you needed to deactivate, you had to contact us to do that at our end. So to do this, if you're on a Mac machine, then you want to come to the Stitch Mastery menu at the top left. I'm on a Windows machine and Linux is the same. We come to the Tools menu and Deactivate is right at the bottom next to Activate. And you're prompted, are you sure that you wish to deactivate Stitch Mastery? And you would click OK. I'll click Cancel for this video. If you decide you've made a mistake and you want to actually activate the software again, then you come back to the same menu and activate is next to deactivate and you'll be prompted to put your activation key back in. So there are two main reasons why you might want to deactivate your software. First, a reminder that activation keys can be used on two devices for Stitch Mastery. So the first and main reason would be if somebody has two computers and they've now got a third computer and they're retiring the first one and they want to use Stitch Mastery on the third one. So you would want to then deactivate the software on the first device and then your key is available to use on your new device. And you can go straight ahead then and go through the uninstall process as well with the software on the original computer if you wanted to. The other reason, which is a bit less common, is specific to Windows users. So sometimes when Windows issues a big operating system update, there are actually so many changes that happen to the device that our activation linking software doesn't recognise it as the same device once the upgrade has taken place. So sometimes we get messages from Windows users saying, I've just had a big update on my computer and my activation key isn't working anymore. And we would go in and unlink one of their activation keys and then they could reuse that. But it's now possible that if you know you're going to have a big upgrade happening, you're, you're moving from say, you know, Windows 10 to Windows 11, that type of upgrade, then you can deactivate your Stitch Mastery software before you let that upgrade run. And then once you're all set up back again, you've got your software downloaded, you can put your activation key back in and you won't end up using two of your activation key allowances on the same machine. As always, if you have any problems with your activation key, then you can get in touch with us to support at stitchmastery.com and we'll be happy to help.